And they open up with three wide receivers right and Trey Lamb with an offset back. Lamb back to throw, zips a pass, a slant, complete. Second down coming up for Tennessee Tech. The handoff to Urbano. He is tackled. The ball is loose. They are going two to the left, two to the right for Trey Lamb and Tennessee Tech in a third down deal. Third and four, low snap gathered in by Trey Lamb. Back to throw. Has a man for a first down, juggled in and out of his hands. A team to come out, bubble screen, be aggressive, throw the ball down the field. They're not going to change their nature. And that's what Watson Brown told us as well. We want to be who we are. Chip Kelly talks about playing the faceless opponent in Tennessee Tech. I think uh, reading from the same book, the punt takes a wild hop. Tennessee Tech players are. A lot of traffic right there. Oh. And boy, I can't tell. Did that hit his hand? Looked like it went off a hand. Yeah, that went off DeAnthony Thomas's hand. And big mistake, remember. Flat. On. The coaching staff yesterday here at Oregon said that that is the observation they make most about their team. Four receivers wide on the right. Lamb rolls out, directing traffic. Pumps a pass from his own 35, but finds a man down at the 10 of Oregon. Lamb back to throw. Brings it back near side. They form a screen. They've got a man in the open. It's to Rick Rogers. Bouncing right side. 10-5 into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee Tech. Tech scores a touchdown on an Oregon turnover. Great execution. Beating the blitz with a wide receiver screen. Nice blocking downfield and the open field running of the transfer. Just joined the team four days before the season started. Here's the handoff. Good surge by the offensive line, and that's a game. Second and three for the Golden Eagles. Direct snap to Lamb. Hands off to Urbano, and he is grabbed, but pushed across. Both team together at Calhoun, Georgia, and then you had Derek Rogers, who's a junior, who also was a teammate at Calhoun, Georgia. Here's the handoff to Urbano, dancing out to his right, and he is hit from behind. A lot of preparation. Slot left the H back and then too wide here to the bottom of your screen. Lamb got hit hard, throws over the middle and it sails. And in fact, they've been outscored in the second half of the previous two games, 43 to 14. So they have not been completing, have not been finishing games. Well, there are three wides to the near side, second and 14 for Trey Lamb. He's going to sprint out on the option to Urbano. And Oregon has receiver from Chandler, Arizona, Adam Archuleta's hometown. He is 6'7", 243 and quick. Third and 14, land back to pass. Ball batted, nearly intercepted. Into a touchdown. Trey Lamb goes to work. The 5'9 quarterback backs up. Arks a highland near side. Has a man down there, but good. Olamu, the sophomore corner. Remember Oregon going the rest of the way this year without their free safety, John Boyette. He's the quarterback of their defense. Lamb on a keeper picks up a couple. Nine games, and they feel like he's so sharp that they shouldn't miss a beat. Third and eight, hard rush. Oh, Lamb is knocked down. Taylor Hart got there before anyone. Yeah, Remington and Hart, they blitz up the middle. And you see Baseko Lacombo come in there untouched, forces Trey Lamb to step into the pocket. And the hustle right there to come across off of the edge, make the sack for Taylor Hart. See, as a coach for any team. Trey Lamb goes to work. The senior again flushed. He's been under pressure. Sprint out to the 20. Looks back to the far side of the field. Arcs a pass over here. Good eye. Lamb had big numbers in their opener against Hampton. 340 yards, four touchdowns. He hands off to Urbano, and he is knocked down just across the line of scrimmage. Okay, they're just pinning their ears back and, and just trying to decimate that offensive line. Three men up front defensively. Flanker screen right side and a gain of a few on the play. But the effort, the attitude, that's what they want to see. They have it. Three wide to the near side. Lamb the handoff. Quick flick to a man coming out of the backfield, Tremaine Hudson. And Hudson has swarmed at the 50 yard 12. Lamb goes to work, second and eight. And he's hauled down. Again, pursuit. 
couldn't have timed it any faster. He takes off before the offensive linemen have a chance to react almost offsides and gets in the backfield and getting his team ready to win their conference. Third and 14, Lamb has receivers sprinkled all over the field. Throws it near side, Tremaine Hudson pounds his way across to 50. Actually, that was somewhat of a charge. Now and those can, are the things they didn't want to see coming into this game. No, they didn't. They, they thought they had cleaned that up in practice this week. Hard rush on Lamb. He's just going to hold it. And the way. A little bit quicker. Second and 19 for Trey Lamb. Rollout pitch. And that goes no. Washington, Jordan. Up front for Oregon. Lamb back to throw. That's intercepted. This may go for six. Ducks on the run. And saving a short time. Another wide receiver screen. They try and set up to Derek Rogers, but Oregon snuffs it out. Kiko Alonso with the instincts, the reaction to pick up that ball. And if it's not for Trey Land, that's going to be another touchdown. But now that play was disrupted from the very beginning. And it's ready to play. Trey Lamb is out now for the Golden Eagles. The quarterback hands off to Urbano, fakes right, moves left, and gets up off the left guard. And the handoff comes to Bush. Try to cut it back, does, but spun around. And four deal now for the Golden Eagles. Lamb is spun around and sacked on the play. Guess who? Deion Jordan off the edge, the converted wide receiver. Yeah, the praying mantis is <laughs> having a heck of a game working on Hunter Beetle. The tackle over there, just a speed rush, and that's what we talked to him about yesterday. By Oregon. Leading 28 to 7 with 8.33 to go in the second. And Tex, Trey Lamb winds up on a pass down the far side. Second and ten now. Lamb's going to keep it. Raising their voices now to third and seven. Three receivers to the right of Trey Lamb. He's going to roll that direction. Pumps and fires near sideline complete. And this is going to be short. Let's see. Got a piece of that with Trey Lamb. Low snap. Picks it up. Shoestring level. And he's just going to sprint and slide. Second 13 now for Tennessee Tech. They give it left side and they stack up four with one off the near edge. And Lamb avoids the edge rusher, flips it out to Urbano to the 20, across the 25, and hit late. And another penalty. Physical and be intent, intense. And right now they're walking just over that line and they have to dial it back and be smart. Play with that same intensity, but this it may not creep up. But in a tight ball game, you got to know and have faith that you're going to be able to keep your composure and not give the other team an advantage by creating costly penalties. And the touchdown. But turnovers and penalties have been costly to Oregon. Tennessee Tech, frankly, has been able to stay in. Secure it. Will hand off to Urbano, the senior, and, that will, and Trey Lamb, the senior, on the sideline. Stone with a handoff to Urbano, and he is knocked out. Tennessee Tech in brand new uniforms unveiled just today here on the road in Eugene. Golden Eagles keep it on the ground. Adam Urbano again. TCU just a few years ago. Here's the handoff to Urbano, churning his legs, got up past the line of scrimmage, popped 50 yards per game, an 18 touchdown. And Thomas was number four in quarterbacking efficiency. That's a big blow. Well, that's something they've been able. Tip ball intercepted. Oregon intercepts. This may go back to the house for six, and it does. Into the end zone. Yeah, quick three-step slant. And Dior Mathis on the spot, easy deflection around the football. 
And does he stay in? I don't know. Mm, no, he went out right there. I thought he went out at the three yard line. Play is under review. Yeah, it looks right around that five yard line. There's a handful of coaches across the country that do such a good job of taking the individual out of the team and letting the guys play collectively and be all in it for one. Ball caught, but then may have been coughed up. And the athletes said they are, and their skill sets uh, could create a lot of problems for a defense. Stone wants to snap again. Oh, he flutters a ball. That looked like his arm was coming forward, but it did it go back? Dip here in Eugene. It is absolutely gorgeous. 75 degree day. Stone hands off, and they kind of plow ahead there, but to no avail. Skipon. Come Sunday. Boy, this snap rolls back to Stone. He gets down and fields it. Well, he's able to hand off to his up back. Illinois, Arizona State in the first two games has allowed just 10 points. And they've had 10 rushing touchdowns. That's a great combination. They'll test that. They go to Farrell Field uh, today in Columbia to take on Missouri. It fell off in the second half. And, of course, you know, De Dennis Erickson and his staff gets fired. And makes way for Todd Graham. Look at Arbano break free. A lot of... Great right game and a good opponent. Now those are the plays that are going to come back to haunt you. Eric Dargan, the guilty penalty there. Here's a draw. This is Bush pounding his way forward across the 25 yard on a turnover to begin this game. They were ahead 7 0. Here's Bush again bouncing outside. Got a nice block. And first and goal to go. For the Golden Eagles. And again it is Bush. This time he's able to move the plow forward. Second down. Pressure from the edge. Stone fires a bullet in the end zone. Touchdown Tennessee Tech. Today the reserves not doing the job. done here there's only you know one more thing left to do quick pass near side out of the backfield guys uh, the second teamers up to playing at that high level Troy Hill in the cornerback now for Oregon Darian Stone flushed out of the pocket rolling looking and gets out of they had Kansas State and New Mexico on the schedule, but they both dropped out. And of course, then they had to quickly go out and bring on board long time high school quarterback, or, or I should say coach, at Cooksville, Tennessee. Brown, a quarterback at Vanderbilt back in the late 60s. Of course, is a, a tremendous school in Los Angeles, California. Kevin Ollie, Crenshaw High grad, just named the coach of the Connecticut men's basketball teams Jim Calhoun steps aside so they've had some luminaries there's a look at the Mamba spelled with an O by the way low snap stone picks it up handoff nowhere to go let's go down to Yogi Roth that goes back to work Darian Stone remains at quarterback the backup for Tech Handoff going right side, Stephen Bush probing, works out right side, strung out and tackled down last year what they were using, and it led to an OVC championship. Yeah, he really liked the depth, and he felt like it's a heavy senior class, guys that have been in the program a long time, and a two deep, which you have. Mike Yam and Rick Neuheisel, Curtis Conway along after this game to break down the action that has occurred in the Pac-12 so far and look ahead to games that will be later to Texas. Would wait around the sporting goods store until Jelly would come with a school bus and the football team they jump on the school bus they go to Jelly's high school football game. That's a great way to grow up and uh, you got to love it. That's that. them, uh, their first trip here to the great Northwest here to the state of Oregon. Darren Stone hands off Stephen Bush Bush has room bouncing outside accelerating to the 30 and over toward the sideline for a country like Oregon. Tennessee Tech taking on number four Oregon this afternoon. Stone fakes the handoff, goes right side, pounds into a tackler at the 40-yard line and drags the tackler ahead for first down. 
First down for Tennessee Tech. Near side Urbano. Trying to string it out, but uh, and electing to receive. They were bogged down. They were forced to punt. Here's Stone. A little read option outside of the wing, and Bush pushes ahead for two. Be a touchdown, but we're going to settle in. We're going to play and get after them. But a great start. It's how you draw it up if you're Tennessee Tech. They, they just couldn't keep up, though. Stone tried to force that one in there. It looked like just recently. And it was that he was relating a story about playing for Bear Bryant. Bear brought him aside and said, I'm going to trust you to put the ball in the air. I'm going to let you throw creation today, we are told. And Tennessee Tech wearing new uniforms supplied by Russell Athletic Wear. Here is Stone back to the near side. Yeah, you can't compete when it comes to that, that category. They'll switch up on you. Here's Tennessee Tech now, just trying to keep it on the ground, grind this baby. Uh, let's just wrap this baby up now. They say, no, coach, we need one more play here. So Stone's going to take a snap. He's going to keep it. And he is knocked down, and the game has come.